Rebecca saw that the interpretation was good, he said to, Jacob, to Joseph, I also was in my dream and there were three white baskets on my head. In the uppermost basket were all kinds of baked good for Pharaoh and the birds ate them out of the basket on my head. So Joseph answered and said, this is the interpretation of it. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head from you and hang you on a tree. And the birds will hit your flesh from you. Verse 20. Now it came to pass on the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast for all his servants and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. Then he restored the chief butler to his uh, butlership again and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand but he hung the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief Butler did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Just raise up your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. Say, this is my Bible. And this is where I read what God is saying about my life. I, you know, nini notebook yako. Say, this is my notebook. This is where I write what the Lord says about my life for remembrance. Tipigie makofi mazuri. Kisha uketi chini. Hallelujah. Sasa saa hii Mungu akikuambia atakubariki. Amen. Na pengine akwe amenena about 10 years to come utakuwa na nini ya kumkumbusha Mungu ya kwamba ibada fulani niliingia ukasema utanibariki Bwana hata haona nimeandika nibariki amen so it's good we keep kama uko na iPad pia tukuache nyuma watu ambao wanatumia digital bibles god bless you but make sure umeweka simu yako flight mode amen hiyo amwezi sema amen Ia mwezi sema amen. Watoto jipigieni makofi. Nyinyi mnasema amen. Ama ni vile hamna simu. So ni vizuri. Amen. Ndio usikuwe tempted kutoka kwa neno la Mungu. Waanze kuingia TikTok. Na waanze kuingia huko kwingine. It will make you to miss the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Na kuna vitu unaweza hona hapo ujiletee laana maana tuko katika nyumba ya Mungu. Amen. So it's good to keep borderish. So I want to bring you the greetings of our father, Apostle. Na kwamba ametuma salamu kwenu. Si tu mshangilie in his absence. As you know that we have uh, we just launched a new ministry kule Mombasa. Na ni vizuri kutembelea watoto na kujua wanaendelea namna gani. Amen wale ambao pengine mmefika kiwango cha watoto kuwa wakubwa na wako mbali kuna wakati unatamani kwenda huko au sio ama kuna wakati unatamani waje so he is there uh, since wednesday amekuwa na revival school na anamaliza leo so we are expecting him back this week amen si tuendelee kuombea hiyo ministry ya Mombasa amen haleluya so nadhani uh, Mungu atatenda mema. So let us get back to our word of today because I want us to share just few things in the next few minutes mm, and I believe that God will bless your heart. Amen. I want us to share something that I've entitled that the reference from evil dreams. The reference from evil dreams. Ukombozi kutokana na ndoto mbaya. 
deliverance from evil dreams. Uh, we have read the word of God. Bible is saying that Joseph was put in prison. Na katika pale korokoroni kukawa there are also other people or prisoners who are in there with him. And then as we know him, Joseph was a man of dreams. Not only just having them, but also he knew how to interpret them. Hallelujah. So at this time, these men are dreaming. Na kila moja ako na doto yake. Na chakushangaza ni kuwa, iyo ndoto kila moja meota, ingawaji moja inalete fra, na ingini inalete kilio zote zilitimia. Are we together up to that? So zote zinalete nini? Matunda, flan. Ingini inalete kilio, ingini inalete kicheko ama fra. Kwa hivyo, there is good dreams and evil dreams. Now we know that it is the intention of God to speak unto us through good dreams. But also, the enemy also uses the same, same channel to program people with his evil agenda. Hallelujah. So when you talk about dreams about dreams, ini baadhi ya mawazo ama fikra ama taswira fulani ambao huja katika mawazo ya mtu wakati amelala. Amen. Thoughts images ambazo zinainuka katika maisha uh, katika uh, the journey of a person wakati amelala na anaanza kuona mambo na saa zingine inafika mahali kama mwanadamu tunapuuza tu saa zingine inafika mahali kama mwanadamu tunao hatuna shughuli hata ukiamka asubuhi uwezi kaa chini dakika mbili tatu uanalyze your night Uangalie usiku wangu umekuwa namna gani kuna nini ambacho kimetendeka ambacho is not usual to other nights amen so that you may seek counsel from that experience that you have experienced during the night so wakalala na wakaota lakini mmoja alipoendea interpretation akaambiwa ya kwamba ndio nyote mtakuwa restored kwa kazi zenu lakini wewe mauti yako inakugoja katika hiyo kazi na wewe utaendelea kumtumikia farao i pray for you in the name of jesus christ evil dreams should not manifest in your life i say evil dreams should not manifest in your life one thing I have come to realize and to understand is that realm of the dreams are as crucial or of importance as the physical realms. Ulimwengu wa ndoto ni wa maana sana kama pia ulimwengu wa kiasili. Vile ambavyo unapotembea katika barabara, pengine una miss to accident ama majabasi na unafika kwa nyumba una, unasema kweli ni Mungu. Hivyo hivyo katika ulimwengu wa doto vile unaanalyze maisha yako ya kila siku, hivyo hivyo unahitaji kukaa chini usiku unapopita to analyze your dreams. Hallelujah. To analyze your dreams. Maana hiyo realm ni ili ya msaada na ni ya maana sana katika maisha yako. Dreams are channels of communication. Hallelujah. Are channels of communication. 
Ndoto ni moja wapo wa njia ambazo utumika in the supernatural to communicate. Basi lazima ukiamka walewe ndoto yangu ilikuwa imebeba ujumbe wa aina gani? Ndoto yangu ilikuwa imebeba ujumbe wa kuniinua, wa kuniweka chini ama ni ujumbe wa aina gani? Haleluya. Pengine unaweza kuwa hautaelewa. But kama umeishika na umeenda mahali maybe unaweza pata usaidizi. You speak to men of God or you pray to God to give you the revelation of that dream utakuwa umesaidika. Amen. I put it in the book of Matthew chapter 2. I'll teach for a few minutes then tutaenda kuona vile the Holy Spirit will lead us. Let us go to the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 14. Because we have said dreams are channels or means of communication. I want to read from New King James version. 2 verse 13. Now when they had departed behold an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream saying arise take the young child and his mother flee to Egypt and stay there until i bring you word for herod will seek the young child to destroy him haleluya ni njia ambayo inatumika kupitisha ujumbe basi yusufu babaki yesu akajiwa na malaika wa bwana katika ndoto akaambiwa ya kwamba epesha mtoto huyu maana kuna andui anayemtafuta amwangamize Hello. Na maana yeye aliichukulia hiyo ndoto na uzito ndio maana anapoamka anaanza safari ya kuepa from that location. Suppose angeichukulia na uzito na akae pale. Maafa ikepatikana pale. Hallelujah. So dreams should be taken seriously. Wakati zi umepata dream Lazima uelewe something is being communicated. Na kwa nini to take our dreams seriously? Job chapter 33. Ayub 33. Verse 13. Verse 13. Inasema hivi, why do you contend with him? for he does not give an accounting of any of his word for god may speak in one way or in another yet man does not perceive it 15 in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their bed then he open up the ears of men and seals their instruction in order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man he keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword haleluya ajibu anasema mungu huongea katika maisha ya wanadamu na mungu anapoongea huongea kwa njia moja ama njia nyingine Tunaweza sikia Mungu akiongea kupitia kwa neno takatifu. Tunaweza sikia Mungu akiongea kupitia kwa manabii. Tunaweza sikia Mungu akiongea kupitia kwa watumishi wake. Tunaweza ona Mungu akiongea kupitia kwa circumstances. Lakini anasema usiku wa manane wakati watu wamelala Mungu huongea kupitia kwa ndoto. Na anaonya watu wake kuhusu mambo fulani. Anaelekeza watu wake kuhusu mambo fulani How many times have you missed the message of God because you have forgotten a dream Ask yourself that question Hallelujah In dreams secrets are revealed 
katika ndoto siri zinafunuliwa Let us go to Genesis chapter 37 Andika hayo maandiko vizuri ukifika kwa nyumba utaenda kusoma na Mungu atakusaidia Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 You see how secret are revealed through dreams Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even more so he said to them please hear this dream which I have dreamt number 7 verse 7 there we were binding sheaves in the field then behold my sheep arose and also stood upright and indeed your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to myself and the, his brother said to him Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Jump to verse, uh, chapter 42, verse 26. Forty-two, verse 26. So they loaded their donkeys with the grain and departed from there but as one of them opened his sack to give his dung feed at the encampment he saw his money and there it was in the mouth of his sack i want to start let us go back to verse uh, 25 verse 25 then joseph gave a command to fill their sacks with the grain to restore every man's money to his sack and to give them provision for his journey. Thus he did for them. Yusufu anaota ndoto. Na katika ndoto, siri za kuwa kiongosi. Katika family, siri za mandugu zake kuja kumtengemea zinavichuliwa. Lakini maana the brothers did not understand about the dream. They thought that this man was intimidating them. They ignored him. They hated him. But when you go to chapter 42, you are seeing the very dream being fulfilled. Unaona ndoto linatimia in chapter 42. Sasa wanamuinamia. Sasa wamekutia msaada. Na ni yule ampaye walikuwa muita the dreamer because of his dreams every secret in your life that has been concealed by men against your life as it is being revealed to you you shall never forget it in Jesus mighty name I say you shall arise to the occasion in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah dreams gives instructions dreams gives instructions dreams gives instructions warning and revelation let's go to genesis chapter 20 10 minutes then i preach hallelujah come on mefika genesis chapter 20 shout a good amen first three we are saying that dreams gifts or reveal revelations warning and instructions but God came to Abimelech verse 3 of Genesis 20 in a dream by night and said to him indeed you are a dead man because of the woman whom you have taken for is for she is a man's wife Hallelujah. Mandiko inasema ya kwamba Ibrahim akaanza safari. Na akafika kwa mfalme mmoja anaitwa Abimeleki. Kisha wakashikwa pamoja na mke wake. Abimeleki akawa separate the wife and the husband. But behold at night God comes unto him through dream. 
anamwambia kwamba huyo ambaye ulio naye unajiletea shida katika maisha yako na katika inchi yako mwachilie haleluya i want to show you how god uses dreams then i will show you how also the enemy the devil uses dreams then we are going to see how we can be delivered from the dreams of the devil haleluya so kama mungu anatumia ndoto kuonya andui wa ibrahim hata wewe ninakuombea katika jina la Yesu Kristo watakao kuinukia kupitia kwa ndoto bwana na awaonye na waambie waachilie maisha yako nasema awaonye na waambie waachilie familia yako maana you are the anointed of the lord you don't believe you are the anointed of the lord he has leashed an anointing upon you and the bible says touch not the anointed of the lord nasema katika jina la Yesu Kristo itafunuliwa na wataonywa popote walipo nasema wachawi wakijichini kwenu wanaokuangaisha kupitia kwa ndoto na revelation through the word of god they shall receive a warning tonight i say they shall receive a warning tonight that loose and leave my daughter alone loose and leave my son alone for i have raised him and prepared him for the appointed time touch not his life that is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. I say that is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Uliza jirani yako unasikia kitu kweli? Muulize kwa sauti. Failure to dream. Ambia mwenzako failure to dream is an indication ama ni ishara. Mwambie ni ishara ya kwamba revelation yako imekuwa attacked. Amen. Failure to dream it is an indication that the revelation has been attacked because if through the revelation through dreams we are receiving revelation and for you you are not dreaming. Unalala tu kama maiti. You are competing to sleep with the dead. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall not be your portion. I say it shall not be your portion. Your revelation is secured by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. But I was asking myself a question. Kwa nini basi tusiote mchana? Amen. Remember we are dealing with the difference from evil dreams. Kwa nini tusiote mchana? Kwa nini ni usiku? Because number one thing, at night men are never alert. Only few men a lot at night ni watu wachache ambao huwa makini wakati wa usiku na sio wakati wa usiku tu wakati wa usigizi ni watu wachache huwa makini kwa hivyo maandiko inasema aje in the book of Matthew 13 24 let us go there Matthew 13 24 ikuonyeshe jinsi ambavyo basi when men are not alert in their sleep what happens that Matthew 13:24 to 26 another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field but while men slept his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way skia 26 but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also appeared ambia mwenzako when men slept when men slept Maniko inasema walipolala alienda katika shamba lake akaachilia begu mzuri lakini walipolala andui naye akaja na akaachilia begu yake na haikuishia hapo begu nzuri ikaanza kumea ilipomea basi ikaonekana imemea hivyo hivyo ndani ya begu mzuri begu mbaya nayo ikamea ikamea zote zimemea Haleluya. Mungu 
anatumia ndoto kunena na watu wake kuwapa ufunuo kuwapa maonyo na kuwapa mwelekezo basi tunapolala bila kuwa alert in the spirit the enemy also comes and he so stares in our dreams to inflict us hallelujah but one thing i have come to know it is the condition of your spiritual life that will determine the growth of that which the enemy has sought i pray for you in the name of jesus christ chochote kiofu kilipandwa ama ambacho kinatayarishwa kupandwa kupitia ulimwengu wa ndoto kwa jina la yesu kristo na kikauke kabla ya kubea kwake nasema kikauke the condition of your spiritual life how spiritually are you how sensitive are you in the spirit it will determine whether the tears will grow or they will wither hallelujah si mungu akupe hiyo neema katika jina la Yesu Kristo si mungu akupe hiyo neema katika jina la Yesu Kristo number one thing you should understand it is that whatever we are battling today has not just started today hiyo condition ambayo unangana nayo leo haijaanza leo it is started somewhere there were indication but you ignored them hello ambia mwenzako you ignored the indication ilikuwa tu mahali lakini ukaamua wacha tu endelee kulala hii ni ndoto tu ya kawaida ni kama zile zingine wacha nilale now you are facing the consequences of what happened john 10:10 tells us the devil does not come but he comes only for one reason to kill to destroy and to steal i pray for you in the name of jesus christ as he comes he shall find you alert i say as he comes he shall find you alert in the name of jesus christ and when he finds you alert you are able to contend with him you are able to resist him you are able to arise and take the full harm of christ and declare i am untouchable because the lord has secured my life hallelujah has secured my life dreams are influenced by several things there are things that influence our dreams one of the things that influence our dreams is what we call the flesh ambia mwenzako the flesh nguvu ya mwili mwambie nguvu ya mwili ajasikia ongea kwa sauti mwambie nguvu ya mwili mutingishe kidogo anaweza kuwa amelala mwambie nguvu ya mwili Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3 Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 3 The flesh For a dream comes through much activities and a fool's voice is known by his many words Hallelujah Much what activities Doto zako zinaweza kuwa influenced na kile unafanya saa hii mchana Doto yako inaweza kuwa influence na kile unaongea saa hii mchana Halo Uliza mwenzako mchana unafanyanga nini Kama umeshindia mchana mzima ku watch movies za action usiku lazima wote wakikumbiza lazima wote ukipigwa risasi kama uli watch afro cinema mchana mzee ameibiwa ama bibi ameibiwa usiku utaota hivyo hivyo maana what you have done during the day the activities will reflect in your dreams Hallelujah. What you also eat during the day at the flesh. Chini unakula. Utatengemea. Hallelujah. Ukiwa 
Sarau ukiwa na njaa ulale. Hata umbo ikipita unaisikianga. Baki ukishiba vizuri. Chakula ambayo inahitaji kusia kwa na nguvu mingi. Hata majambazi wataingia na utasikia. Ivo hivo katika ulimwengu wa rohoni, ivo divo kulivyo. The moment they are getting this that we gange during the day there is a possibility 90% of your dreams will come from all those activities. That's why I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hiyo kazi ambayo unafanya ambayo ni ngumu, hautalala pia ukiifanya katika ndoto. Nasema hautalala pia ukiinua mawe katika ndoto. Nasema hautalala ukiteseka katika ndoto. The activities of the day they will influence your dreams. Number two, association. Association. Wale watu na associate na wao. If you associate with a witch, that same witch will bewitch you in your dreams. If you associate with good people, better for you. Association. Ukikaa na watu wa mshene, Ivo hivo, mulikuwa sengenya wengine, utaota ata wawu kisengenya. Na unaribu siyana wako na watu. Because of a dream that was influenced by the activities of your flesh. Si mungu wa kuwakoe katika jina la Yesu Christo. Nasema mungu wa kuwakoe. Hallelujah. Number three things that influence dreams, Ivo covenants. Ivo Covenants. And to when you share those dreams that are influenced by evil covenants, I will show you. Then we pray about them. Hallelujah. Number five, foundation or background of your family. Foundation or background of your family. You cannot come from a family where its foundation is witchcraft. Now, one be okay, man. You cannot come from a family and by gonna have covenants now what and not was a man background. Hallelujah. Somebody was giving us a testimony, I don't know, some years back. And teaching us why we should pray for our children. Because this person background yaki likwa ya Christianity. Na watoto wanapoenda shule za boarding wako mbali na sisi. Amen. So sometimes wanatoka na wanaanza shughuli zao na hatujui uko mbali. Mtoto atakuja akiwa innocent. Pengine walikata fence na wakaenda. But one thing happened that after releasing the child alikuwa anamuombea. That child was testifying ya kwamba the moment ninatoka na my my peers ama wale watu tunakaa naona tunasoma nao tunaenda na wao. The moment tunaingia mahali hapa staili uwa naona sura ya mama yangu inaapia. Hello? Uwa naona nini? Sura ya mama yangu inaapia. If we are planning to do it tomorrow, this night, ni naota na ye. Kinionya, nisiende pale. That is godly foundation. If you are coming from a foundation ambao is a witchcraft what will you expect to dream you will dream for them coming to you wakikwambia shika hii pembe fanya hivi na hivi you receive instruction whether you like it or you don't like it and i pray for you in the name of jesus christ every background influencing your dream life tonight may you be delivered from that background in the name of jesus nasema uachiliwe kwa jina la yesu christo Nasema waachiliwe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Number 1 is environment. Environment. Ambia mwenzako environment. Ama ile mazingira huko. Genesis chapter 28. Verse 10. 13. Baka 13. Now Jacob went out from Belsheba and went towards Aran. So he came to a certain place and he stayed there all night because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. And he lay down in that place to sleep. 
Then he dreamt, and behold, a ladder was set up on the hearth, and it is top reached to heaven. And there are the angels of God. We are ascending and descending on it. Hello? Jacob, and Afika Bethel. Na hapo hapo, kumbe Ibrahimu alikuwa mwanzoni ameinua madhabao. So akalala kwa madhabao na akaanza kupokea doto za kiungu. Some of the houses you live here in Nairobi have been dedicated kwa madhabao ya kuzi. Some of the houses, I say, some of the houses you are living here, they are altars. Some of the companies you are working for, they have altars, demonic altars, that give access to demons to operate in those altars. So you can't expect just to enter into a house, just to shift from Kayole to Kawangware and just go like a normal man and sleep. No, you have to understand the environment where you are. There are powers and principalities. The Bible tells us that we do not wage war against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. Hallelujah. Powers and principalities in every places. So, kama nyumba imetengwa na imeinuliwa madhabao ya kuzimu. Na wewe umeenda kulala hapo tunakukula na kushiba au uombi utanyongwa usiku. Halo? Utajongwa usiku. Utaanza kufilisika. Utaanza kuota watu wakikujia vitu zako. Because something has given an access to those houses. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Every environment influencing your dream life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the deliverance of the Lord visit you tonight in the name of Jesus. Na sema ukombosu wapwana na ukutembele. Ata kama kambuni hiyo wame yodain na wame set outers that are influencing your dreams. Hallelujah. Unatoka kazi five. Lakini mdosa ya najua bado. Kuna masaa mengine matatu. Kuanzia saa sita mpaka saa nane ya masaa. Amba utakuwa na mfanyia kazi. Through the dream. Ninakataa hiyo katika jina la Yesu Christo. Nasema ninakataa hiyo katika jina la Yesu Christo. Hallelujah. Si mungu wakupe ufunuo welewe na ikitu. Another thing that influence your dream. Is the level of your anointing. Mwambia mwenzako level of your anointing. Mwambia level of your anointing. Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. Verse 9 to 10. Verse 9 to 10. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him. Saying, come over to Macedonia and Help us. Level of your anointing. If your anointing is high, the dreams that you are likely to encounter are divine dreams. If your anointing is low, and how do we gain anointing? We gain anointing in the place of prayer. We gain anointing through fellowship. We gain anointing by the reading of the word of God. So if the anointing of God can influence the dream life of that man, also when you come to the other side, also there are things that can influence your dreams. But I pray for you, the anointing that you will carry from this place will never allow you to dream just no more dreams. I say it will never allow you to dream dreams that will kill your life. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I say in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Pigesu makofi mazuri. I want to give you a few examples of the dreams that you are likely to encounter. And they are evil dreams. And I want to show you their consequences when you dream such dreams. And how we are going to come out of them. Hallelujah. Dream number one. 
eating flesh in your dream. Or eating even food in your dream. Hallelujah. Kama unaota ukikula either iwe ni chakula ya aina gani wengine wanaota hata wakikula nyama beach know that destruction has been programmed by the enemy in your life but i thank the lord because you have come here today the lord will deliver you i say the lord will deliver you i say the lord will deliver you because what they do is they summon your spirit then they take you to their houses and there because they are doing those sacrifices wana ku involve na mnakula chakula cha madhabahu yao pale katika madhabahu za kusini mnakula now we say that if you don't conquer in the realm of the spirit you never conquer the physical so kama hicho chakula hukukataa katika ndoto ambao ni ulimwengu wa roho basi hata kiasili the consequences say on ndoto out of overcome but i pray for you in the name of jesus christ may the lord have mercy on you and deliver you i say may the lord have mercy on you and deliver you na katika jina la yesu kristo wewe uliyelishwa katika ndoto kipada hii kabla hiishe hiyo chakula tunaondoa nasema hicho chakula tunaondoa aidalishi walikulisha nini aidalishi ilikuwa ni pizza ilikuwa ni nini ilikuwa ni ina gani no we say no because we are meant to eat when we are awake not when we are asleep the devil is a liar but his days are numbered for we have known the truth the bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge today we have received the knowledge it will deliver you in jesus mighty name i say it will deliver you in jesus mighty name number two, you are dreaming being attacked by snakes and dogs naomba ukiva unaota ukivamiwa na nyoka ama maumbwa when you dream such dream don't continue to sleep those dreams is an indication that witchcraft has been released upon your life Hello. Indication that witchcraft has been initiated against your life. Hallelujah. But nashukuru Mungu maana katika ibada hii hizo nyoka tunaua. Hizo nyoka tunaua. Nasema hata hizo humbo ambazo zinakufukuza kwa ndoto kuanzia leo na kuwa terminated. Not by power neither by might but by the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you see such dreams, you must understand there is witchcraft attack in your life. Then arise. Fight that spirit. Amen. Dead people. Dead people. Kasi yangu nilikufa miaka 10 lakini alikuja. Shushu alikufa miaka 5 lakini alikuja. Kwa ndoto alikuwa ananicheka tu anafurahia tu. Alikuwa ananiambia mambo mazuri. There is no connection between the living and the dead. The voice a liar. He is just calling you. That is a spirit of death pursuing your life. Hallelujah. Spirit of death. Atisijui nani? Alikufa miaka hata wengine amkuwaona na macho lakini kwa ndoto unamuona na ukielezea mtu wa siku hizo anakuambia huyo ndiye alikuwa babu yako watatu why because already in the realm of the spirit they have captured your spirit and you are one among them but i pray for you in the name of jesus christ no matter the power that they are using you shall escape tonight i say you shall escape even the appointment of death by the virtue of dreams we declare by the name of our lord jesus christ the name above every other name that today you shall walk free in the name of jesus christ the blood of jesus christ that speaketh better things than the blood of heaven shall speak for your life i say shall speak for your life and shall speak for your life hallelujah ikanene katika maisha yako na mungu akusaidie 
you are dreaming being in your former school. You are dreaming being in your former school. May it be primary or secondary. That is a spirit of demotion or backwardness. Hallelujah. Uko ha- you are a graduate, but still, when you get to sleep, you see yourself in the same same school in the village. Ukiwa mevaa kaputula, na sikuizu unabaa suti, but unajiona na kakinyasa. Na unabaa suti. Because the spirit of demotion has been pioneered by the devil against your life. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we terminate those operations. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Sema amen. Sema amen. Another thing is walking barefooted with the rugged clothes. Unatembea kwa mguu bila kiatu na nguo zimetaruka. Hallelujah. Spirit of poverty has been released against you. In the physical you are wearing good clothes, but when you go to sleep what you see is yourself. Tu unatembea tu. Nairobi kuna lami lakini bado unatembea tu mahali kuna kwekwe zina kudunga tu is an indication that poverty is about to catch up with you it doesn't care how much you have but it is coming to catch up with you but because you have come our lord is a merciful god our god is a so powerful god he shall deliver you i say he shall deliver you i say he shall deliver you just clap your hands for one minute and pray tell god have mercy on me in this service clap your hands as you pray piga makofi yako kiomba tu tell god have mercy in this service have mercy for me in this service have mercy on me in this service ambia bwana have mercy have mercy on me have mercy on me in this service have mercy have mercy and deliver me have mercy and deliver me in jesus mighty name we pray sema amen sema amen you are here you are dreaming that no matter what effort that you put in whatever you do no results good results will come from that thing know that that effort it is all in vain because the enemy has attacked in the spirit number 10 number 10 or 8 if you dream losing your bible your bible Unaweza omba unaweza hata tu unapotea bible yako ama unaitafuta uione Arise and pray the spirit of backsliding is after you the spirit of backsliding is after after you Another one is losing your phone Ushe yota umepoteza simu kwa ndoto if you see yourself losing your phone know that your prayer life is about to be affected because phones we use these gadgets to communicate so we use prayer also to communicate so when you see yourself losing your po- your phone know that in the realm of the spirit prayer life yako inaendelea ku affected so it is high time you intensify the prayers na useme haitaondoka hiyo neema hallelujah last but not the least because i want us to pray amen you see yourself swimming unaogelea kwa bahari yet even in the physical you don't know how to swim your life has been attacked by marine spirits hallelujah by marine spirits you have been attacked by marine spirit wengine wanaota pengine wanaingia katika oceans na wanaona wanapewa heshima you have been made a king or a queen of the sea unknowingly but the blood of jesus christ will deliver you i say the blood of jesus will deliver you i say the blood of jesus will deliver you in the name of jesus christ i say in the name of jesus christ i say in the name of jesus christ shout i am delivered Sema nimekombolewa. Ha 
how do we overcome these evil dreams? Number one, by invoking the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. By invoking the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. We have said that this blood of Jesus speaks better things in our life than the blood of Abel. Hallelujah. And this blood of Jesus, number one thing you should understand is that the blood of Jesus has power to deliver you. He said it is finished. All those operations, they are finished tonight. Because you are going to invoke the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I say the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Number two, busy day and night watching pornography in your phone. Definitely, that night or all your nights, you will encounter sex in the dreams. And that's how you will be affected by spiritual husband and spiritual wives because you have refused to live a righteous life. You keep on watching them when you take already. But the moment you decide whatever I shall see with my eyes, it is what pleases the Lord. Whatever I shall do is what pleases the Lord. How I walk. Because the Bible says that his eyes are on the rushes. His ears are still on the rushes that he may hear. He may hearken to their prayers. But the moment you deviate, by that time, you are under attack. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today you are coming out. I say you are coming out. I say you are coming out. I say you are coming out. Number three. Be a friend of the word of God. Hallelujah. Akuna mtu. Anaeza ota. Apostle Paul. Akimpia instruction. Kesho ya filisike. Hakuna mtu ata ota doto with an encounter with Elijah or Elisha alafu maisha yake yaribike. Hakuna mtu ata ota yesu akimtokea katika ndoto na maisha yaribike. But that one you must make it a decision for your life that uh, from today henceforth I become a friend of the word. I become a friend of the of the word. Hallelujah. Number four. Number three. Number four, yes. How we come out of these evil dreams is through intensive prayers. Intensive prayers. Sio maombi and Igatano at Father, I thank you. Bless this food as we sleep. Then you go to sleep. No. You must intensify your prayers. Hallelujah. You must intensify what? Your prayers. Last but not the least, because of time, how do you overcome this? Learn to cancel all negative dreams in prayer. The moment umeona iyo nyoka ikitawa kuwa tak na ukaamuka, that is the right moment to pray against it and nullify it and reverse it and kill it. Then now you can continue with life. But the moment you say, I'll pray tomorrow, the devil will erase that memory. Tomorrow you'll just wake up. Upate hata umeachelewa kazi, okibie kazi, kesho kutwa wende usalimie kazin, kesho hii ingini wende usalimie anti. By the time unakuja ku realize, it has manifested. They have destroyed you with witchcraft. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will deliver you. I say God will deliver you. I put a smile on my face.
want us to do some prayer warfare for about 10 minutes. I'm believing God that our life will be delivered today. I say I'm believing God that our life, just the soft one, the soft one. I'm believing God that our life will be delivered today. I'm saying I'm believing God that our life shall be transformed today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have said to overcome these evil dreams, we need to live a righteous life. You can live a luscious life because we have said that the environment where we are and our association and the background can also influence the, light, the dreams that we, we dream. Na tukasema ya kwamba wakati Yusufu aliletewa ndoto ndoto haikukosa kutimia sababu ilikuwa ya kulete kilio bado ilienda ikatimia I don't know whether I told you last time that I was praying for a child of my friend about mugui mefura then that friend of mine did not give me the history of what happened he was in a hurry because he has money he can go to Kenyatta and pay and do all those things so he just told me we have an appointment come and pray when I prayed, I was quickened in the spirit that this thing happened through the dream. Reverse it. But because this man has shown an urgency to go to the hospital, I just prayed it in the prayer and we, we left. Three weeks later, he comes to me and he tells me, man of God, I have just remembered in your prayers, you mentioned something like dream. And my son told me when he was asleep, something pricked him on the, on the, on the leg. Then akamuka, akaanza kujikuna. Na hivyo ndiyo ikaanza, mugu ikaanza. Kufura. Arrows shot to your body through the dreams. Some people have been pregnant and they see people with the hands full of blood asking for their children. That's what is happening. Before you realize it, if you don't pray, you miscarry. Some people have been called for interviews, prepared, they 